morning, everyone. You're here today for first appearance. The purpose of this hearing is to inform you of the charges against you and determine whether there's probable cause for your arrest. Before court today, I reviewed all the probable cause affidavits in your cases. I've already determined whether there's probable cause to arrest you or not. If I found there was no probable cause, you will be released today. That does not mean that your case is dismissed. It just means law enforcement officer did not give me what I needed in order to find probable cause, and you will need to come back to court another day. If I found probable cause, I will then ask you some questions to determine whether your bond will stay the same, increase, decrease, or whether there are any other conditions of bond that will be imposed on you. Please only answer the questions that I'm asking you here today. They're designed not to get you into any more trouble and designed not to violate your right to remain silent. You have the right to have a lawyer represent you at each stage of these proceedings. If you cannot afford to hire one, I'll appoint the Public Defender's Office for you today. At this time, I'd like you to raise your right hand so I can place you under oath. Raise your right hand, please. Raise your right hand. Back row. Thank you. Tell me, swear or affirm the testimony before the court be the truth, whole truth, nothing but the truth. Very good. Put your hands down as I call your name. Please come forward. State Michelson. Good morning, ma'am. Can I have your date of birth, please? Six seventeen eighty. Okay, you are here today for uh, three failure to appears out of Citrus County. It looks like they were for petty theft. Thank you. Yeah, I was. I was incarcerated. Okay. All of. Okay. Um, well, that can happen. So what, what's going to happen now is we're going to get you back over to Citrus County so you can resolve these three cases. They want you held on a no bond account one and then $50 each on the second and third petty theft. What will happen is the folks there at the jail will bring you over to Citrus County within the next few days. When you get there, you can ask them for a court date and ask them to reduce the bond or just take care of your case when you get there. When you do get there, are you going to want the appointment of the Public Defender's Office? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Okay, I'll go ahead and give them a heads up on that. And if for some reason they have trouble getting you over there in the next few days, the folks throughout the jail will bring you back in front of me and we'll figure out what the holdup is, okay? Is there any way I can have my bond reinstated right now? You, it, it, Not right now. That is possible, but not until you report to the judge in Citrus. Okay. Okay. All right, thanks. Uh, Brenda Campbell. Yes. Good morning, Ms. Kimball. Can you confirm your date of birth for me? 1966. All right. You were here today for a possession of a methamphetamine. I found probable cause for your arrest. Do you want the Public Defender's Office to represent you? Yes. Okay. Do you have them already representing you in the 2021 CF-116 on your felony case? Yes. Okay. Very good. I'll make sure they're still representing you on this case. Uh, there is probable cause to believe that you committed uh, this crime while you were out on a $500 bond on each count on the open case. So I'm going to recommit you on that case, the 2021 CF-116. And in this case, you are entitled to bond. The bond is going to stay at $5,000. We're going to put both of your cases on the same court date from May 14th at 9 a.m. So same court date, same judge, and you have the public defender on all of your charges. Okay, ma'am? Sure. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Gwen Daly. Hi, can I have your date of birth, please? 1780. All right, you are here today for two petty thefts. Um, actually, three. No, two. Sorry, two petty thefts. Uh, and it looks like you were supposed to be in court on February 22nd and weren't able to make it. So I wanted to see if there was any way that we could resolve these today, state. Yes, ma'am. I've been currently incarcerated in two different counties okay. for the past 100 days. So okay. the FTA was just, I guess, the, uh, you know, I missed out on the jail's part. Yeah, that's okay. Let's see if we can resolve this, these cases today. Thank you. One second, Your Honor. Yeah, we can borrow, resolve both cases with 60 days in the jail. Okay. Do you know when the state of defense was? 
Um, there are two. The first one was January 2nd of 2018, and the, oh, sorry, the first one was December 30th of 2017, and the second one was uh, January 2nd of 2018. Okay. And uh, Ms. Daly, where were you incarcerated? I've been incarcerated in Pasco and Pinellas counties. Okay. How long did you spend in the Pasco County Jail? 63 days. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do today is we're going to resolve your cases with time served, okay? Yes, Your Honor. Thank All right. you. So I do understand that by taking this plea today that you're giving up right to go to trial? Yes, Your Honor. Giving up your right to confront the witnesses against you, call witnesses on your own behalf, and giving up your right to have the state prove the case against you. Do you want to give up those yes, rights Your Honor. in order to take care of this case today? Yes, Your Honor. All right. With regard to the petty theft in 2018, MM102, how do you plead and plead no contest? No I accept your plea of no contest. I find it's freely and voluntarily entered. Adjudicate you guilty. They sent you to 60 days in jail. Give you credit for the 60 days that you have in. You will have fines and court costs of $550. Does the state need to reserve on restitution? No restitution on either one, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. So fines and court costs of $550. There'll be no cost of incarcerration because you spent your time in Pasco Pinellas jails. With regard to the petty theft in 2018, MM189, how do you plead? Can be no contest? No contest. Accept right. your plea of no contest. I find it's freely and voluntarily entered. Adjudicate you guilty. Sent you to 60 days. Uh, credit for the 60 days that you have in. And fines and court costs of $550 and no restitution. That should clear up both of your cases here, ma'am. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Megan Churchill. Can I have your date of birth? 517 And you are here today for a petty theft, a trespass, and a violation of drug offender probation. There is probable cause for your arrest on each of these things. Do you want the public defender's office to represent you, ma'am? Yes. All right, I'll point the public defender's office in each of your cases on the violation of probation. Uh, you're going to be held no bond until you appear back in front of Judge Toner on May 17th at 1.30 a.m. And with regard to the new charges, the felony petty theft and the trespassing, you're entitled to a bond on those. I'll keep the bonds the same, and you have the same court date on May 17th at 1.30, and the public defender's office is appointed. We'll see you back then, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Edith Bass. Can I have your date of birth? Hi. July 4th, I understand we do have a victim in the courtroom for this case. Ms. Bass, you are here today charged with a battery on a person over the age of 65. There is probable cause for your arrest. Do you want the public defender's office to represent you, or are you going to hire a lawyer? Public defender, please. Okay, I'll go ahead and point the public defender's office. And I'm just going to ask the state if you have any type of criminal history. Your Honor, there is just no. one. There is just one charge of a DUI from Georgia from 2001. Okay. And Ms. Bass, I have an address for you on Idlewild Circle in Dade City. Is that where you live? Yes, ma'am. How long have you lived there? Do you have a job? No, I'm retired. Okay. Um, I, Mr. Bass, I believe that's his name, is in the courtroom today. Uh, sir, do you just are you just observing, or did you want to address the court? Okay, you can you can come up then, so I can hear you. Okay. And your name is Oscar Bass? Oscar Earl Bass, the okay. second. I'm just going to put you under oath real quick. Yes. Tell me swear from the testimony before the court be the truth, whole truth, nothing but the truth. Yes, ma'am. Okay, don't put your hand down. What would you like me to know? Um, I'd like you to know I'm, I'm very sorry that we've even bothered the court with this. Um, we've been married for 38 years. I uh, had two blow-ups. Yesterday was the second one. Uh, sincerely, I uh, regret involving the police and uh, involving the court's time and everything else. And I'd ask that you be able to release her back to be able to come back home because she is my caregiver. And 
like I said, things just got out of hand, and unfortunately, I okay. I made a call. <laughs> okay. Well, how can I be sure, Mr. Bass, that things won't get out of hand again? Uh, well, it's been 20 some odd years between the last one, and uh, if you would like, we can go to family counseling or whatever, whatever you, whatever you think would be best, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, do you think that would be helpful? It probably would be. Okay. Uh, do you, is there any any children or anyone else living in your household? No, just my dog. Has anyone threatened, or coerced you, or promised you anything in order to come in here today? And no, ma'am. What you're saying? Okay. All right, Mr. Bass, uh, I am okay. I'm um, considering do, there's no prior criminal history here, and from what you're telling me about Edith, I'm okay with doing a no violent contact right now while. Uh, this case is pending. Uh, there should be no violent contact even after the case is over. Oh, no. Um, I, but <laughs> I, 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 I understand. Okay. Like I said, it's, it's been 20 years, but yeah, everyone's in a great, great while. <laughs> okay. So this, I cannot release her on her own recognizance, though, um, pursuant to Florida statute because it's a domestic battery and because it's a felony. There's issues with that. Uh, what I can do is a $100 bond. And then uh, she does still need to come back to court on May 11th at 9 o'clock. And uh, if you want to make sure that you keep your communication with the state attorney's office about what you want on this case, and, right. uh, and also so that they can make sure that, I, that you're I spoke safe. to okay. them this morning and told them I wasn't really interested in pursuing it. It just, it just one of those things that happens when people live together. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so she needs to come back to court. Uh, Ms. Bash, we need to come back to court on May 11th at 9 o'clock, okay? And where can I pay her bail? Um, you can go down to the jail and do that on Spring Hill Drive. Do you know where that is? Um, I'll find it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll get some information from the officers. Okay. I'll be there to get you in a little bit. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, sir. Henry Vidukovich. Hi, can I have your date of birth? 864. All right, you are here today for tampering with evidence and possession of drug paraphernalia. I found probable cause for your arrest on each of these. Do you want the Public Defender's Office to represent you? Yes, ma'am, please. I'll point the Public Defender's Office. I'm going to ask the state if you have criminal history. Yes, Your Honor. There is a 2007 uh, driving on a suspended license, uh, second or more priors, which was a felony. There was a 2006 felony of possession of controlled oh. substance and another driving on a suspended license found guilty of a reckless driving found guilty of in two 1996. In 1991, uh, robbery found guilty of out of Pasco. And in 1991, also another <coughs> felony out of Hernando with robbery with a firearm and possession of a short barrel rifle. Sir, I have an address for you on Sea Line Drive in Spring Hill. Is that where you live? Yes, ma'am. How long have you lived there? Uh, I just moved there. Okay, how long have you lived in Hernando County? Uh, 30 some odd years. Okay. Do you have a job? Uh, no, ma'am. I'm actually I'm terminally ill, disabled. Uh, I'm riddled with cancer right now. I've got a heart pump and dialysis. Just got out of surgery when the, uh, the officer and I have come into contact. Okay. All right, Mr. Brady uh, so I'm going to go ahead and set your bond at $100 each, and you need to come back to court on May 11th at 9 o'clock, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right, thank you. Christian thank Franklin. Can I have your date of birth? 132. You are here today for a stalking charge. And let's see, it's based on a warrant signed by Judge Angelitis on September 15th of 2020. There is probable cause for your arrest. Do you want the Public Defender's Office to represent you? Yes. I'll appoint the uh, Public Defender's Office. I'm just going to ask the state if you have any criminal history. Yes, Your Honor. We're looking at a conviction out of Michigan from 2014 of controlled substance possession of marijuana and then in 2020 a current battery which is open out of Pasco County uh, there is also a 
2020 battery, which is also open out of Pasco, and a property damage criminal mischief over $200. And then there is, from 2019, two guilties of assaults charges from uh, Pinellas County. Mr. Franklin, I have an address for you on Pinion Drive and Holiday. Is that where you live? Yes. How long have you lived there? Uh, three or four years. Do you have a job? No. I was, no, I was trying to get my truck driving license, but I can't do anything with a case in it. Okay. I need to order that you have no contact with Shakoria Owens. Don't have any contact with her whatsoever. Do not call, do okay. not write, do not email, do not have anyone else try to have any contact with her either. Do not go within 500 feet of her residence, employment, school, or vehicle. No te text messaging, social media, or technological contact at all. Do you understand that? Yes. If you have any contact with Shakoria while this case is pending, you could be charged with another crime and held without bond. I'm going to hold you until 4 o'clock today. After that, you can bond out for $5,000 each. And we'll see you back to court on May 10th at 9 o'clock. Okay. Thank you. Joseph Gabatosti. Yes, Your Honor. How'd I do with that? Gabatosti? Yes, ma'am. Is that good? Okay. What's your date of birth? Wait, 68. All right. You are here today because you have three um, cases. A driving, or three charges, I'm sorry, driving on a suspended driver's license, a no motor vehicle registration, and another driving on a suspended driver's license. Both of them out of um, 2017, and I see you are in custody in Orange County and just brought over here. Uh, is there any way that we can take care of these cases? I would like to. I would like to. I would like to. Too. Too. Let's see if we can. Adjudication time, sir, fine and cost, Your Honor. Okay. To resolve both. All right. So what they're willing to do is give you time, sir, that you already have in jail. You want to resolve all your cases today? Yes, ma'am. All right. With, let's see here. With regard to this 2017 CT 2454 driving on suspended driver's license, do you understand that by taking this plea that you're giving up your right to go to trial? Yes, ma'am. Giving up your right to confront the witnesses against you, call witnesses on your own behalf, and you're giving up your right to have the state prove the case against you. Do you want to give up those rights in order to take care of this case today? Yes, ma'am. All right. With regard to this uh, driving a suspended driver's license, how do you plead? Complete no contest. Please no contest. I accept your plea of no contest. I find it's freely and voluntarily entered. I'll adjudicate you guilty and sentence you to uh, two days in jail. I'll give you time served for the two days that you have in. You will have fines and court costs of $450 and the cost of incarceration for those two days imposed against you. With regard to the driving on suspended driver's license and no motor vehicle registration in 2017 CT 2632, how do you plead and say no contest? No contest. I accept your plea of no contest to each of those, adjudicate you guilty, sent you to two days in the Hernandez County Jail, give you credit for the two days that you have in. You will have fines and court costs in that case of approximately $540, and that should clear up everything, sir. If you want to make payment arrangements for that, you can come down to the current report in room 136. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Am I going on? <laughs> That's up to you, sir. Yes. Jamie Ortiz. Can I confirm your date of birth? Uh, Ms. Okay. Jail did not inform me I needed an interpreter on this one. Uh, Jail, can you have him sit down? I will try to get an interpreter on the phone. Xavier Palmore. Yeah. All right, Xavier, can you confirm your date of birth for me? 02719. All right, you are here today for a conspiracy to traffic drugs, and then there's a racketeering violation. Your total bond amounts are $75,000. I have reviewed everything in your case, have found probable cause. Would you like the public defender's office to represent you, sir? Um, I have an attorney on this case. Okay, you do. What's your attorney's name? Dean Sarabas. All right. All right. Can we history state? Yes, sir. 
In this one, Your Honor, we have a 2020 felony possession, uh, possession obstruction and resisting an uh, officer without violence. He was found guilty of. There was also a possession of uh, marijuana, which no action was taken on, out of Pinellas in. 2020, there was a felony out of Hernando, which is currently open for racketeering and conspiracy, That's, which is this case. There's also the Pasco case, which has been reopened from 2019, for which he was found guilty of cocaine possession and marijuana possession over 20 grams uh, felony there. There is obstructing and resisting an officer without, without violence uh, misdemeanor out of Pinellas County in 2019 he was found guilty of. There is a Hillsborough 2016 uh, misdemeanor found guilty of false name to law enforcement. There is a felony uh, possession, felon in possession of firearms found guilty of in 2016. There are two drug possession ones, one with cannabis, one with paraphernalia out of 2016 found guilty of. There is a drug and suspended license uh, found guilty of. A possession of marijuana out of Pinellas from 2014 found guilty of. There is constructing or resisting an officer, which was dropped from 2012. Possession of marijuana with intent to sell, uh, 2011 found guilty of out of Pinellas. Those are all your Mr. Palmer, are you living at the Palace Drive address in Palm Harbor? Yes, ma'am. Okay, one thing that says it's in Palm Harbor and one form that says it's in Fort Ritchie. So where is it? Uh, one page back. It's uh, 10339, that's the Okay. In Fort Ritchie? Okay. Yeah. All right, that's the correct address. How long have you been there for? Uh, about seven or eight years. Okay, do you have a job? Yes, I'm an audio engineer. Yeah. You're going to keep your bonds the same until it's $75,000. We'll see you back to court May 11th at 9 o'clock, okay? Right. David Courtney? Good morning. Good morning. Can I have a date of birth? And you are here today for a violation of probation. It's based on a warrant signed by Judge Merritt on April 14th. So there's probable cause. He wants you held no bond until you appear in court on May 11th at 9 o'clock. Do you want the public defender's office there with you? Yes. I'll find the public defender's office and see you back to court then, okay? Thank you. All right, thank you. Um, we have a main Melvin. It is my attending. Uh, did you guys get anything from the jail on this? Jane Melvin? I did, Your Honor. Okay. Um, I believe, from what I understand here, that she's in the hospital. Oh. Is that right? Jail, is Nane Melvin, she's in the hospital right now? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Um, and she's going to be there for at least another week for surgery to remove her finger. She's in the hospital at Bayonet Point Hospital in Pasco County. Um, so I know it's a violation of probation. We usually don't do bonds, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. And that way she can post a bond. They said that she has the financial ability to post the bond. That way we can make sure that we keep track of her, but. Um, we don't have to pay for a deputy to sit in the hospital. No. So I'll go ahead and set the bond at $100, and we'll see her back to court. Um, jail, if you want to notify her of her court date on May 17th at 1.30. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, thank you. And we'll go ahead and appoint the public defender. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. And is that everybody? We just have Steve, okay. who is the interpreter. Oh, that's right. And we have Mr. Ziegler, I believe. That was the other one. I don't have any paperwork for Ziegler. He was an add on. Oh, it's a violation of okay, probation. Hold on. I don't know anything about that right now. Let's see if I can get the interpreter on the phone.
Okay. If you could have Mr. Ortiz come forward. Hi, this is Judge Helix. How are you? Thank you. I have someone at our first appearance docket who requires the assistance of the interpreter. Do you have a moment? Yes, thank you. Okay. Can you introduce yourself to Mr. Ortiz so I can make sure that he can hear you? Buenos días, yo soy la intérprete judicial. ¿Usted me alcanza a escuchar bien, señor Ortiz? Sí. Can you ask Mr. Ortiz his date of birth? El señor Ortiz me da su fecha de nacimiento. 2 de diciembre de 1991. Uh, December 2nd, 1991. Uh, I know that that was a point of contention whether it was 1990 or 1991 upon his arrest. Uh, yo sé que eso fue un punto de discusión. Que si la fecha era el 90. 1991 cuando lo detuvieron. Uh, he is here today. He is here today because he's been charged with providing false information to law I'm going to ask the state attorney's office if there's any way to resolve that today. Le voy a preguntar a la fiscalía si hay alguna manera de resolver eso hoy. Sí, está bien. Sí, está bien. Sí, está bien. Un segundo, Ana. Un momento, se está bien. Your Honor, in this case, we could do 10 days. Okay. Do we have our criminal history? Uh, yes, Your Honor. In this case, he has a open misdemeanor in Hillsborough County from 2019 for a fray and resisting an officer without violence. He also has a Pasco okay, County. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead, Madam Interpreter. Oh, sorry. Uh, so, Your Honor, the, the interpreter her 10 days and not the full okay. so um, record. So what the state record. is saying is they are offering 10 days in jail. Entonces lo que está diciendo la fiscalía es que le ofrecen 10 días de encarcelamiento. No, And then I asked about his prior record and they indicated that he has the, the Open Hillsborough County case. Y luego pregunté que si el señor tiene algunos antecedentes penales y me indicó la fiscal que sí tiene un caso pendiente en el condado de Hillsborough. Okay, and then some other misdemeanors. Yes, yes, Your Honor, he had a uh, criminal traffic in Pasco for no valid driver's license that was eventually dismissed administratively and then there's also uh, your honor the, the okay. interpreter is only hearing half of, of a misdemeanor there was a criminal traffic something and then no valid driver's license that was dismissed administratively but the, the, the interpreter believes she missed something I think that was it yeah that was it entonces tiene un delito menor que es una infracción y de tránsito penal eh, por no tener licencia de conducir válida pero se hizo, quedó sobreseído de manera administrativa sí, 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 está bien. Then, yes, also two FBI holds for ICE uh, one from 2009 and one from 2019 two something your honor couldn't make out the word there ICE holds From 2009 and 2018. Yeah. Okay. Hay dos residentes de inmigración. Uno fue en el 2009 y otro en el 2019. Sí. Okay. Yeah. All right, Mr. Ortiz, do you want to resolve your case today for the 10 days in jail? 
Señor Ortiz, ¿usted desea resolver el caso hoy aceptando 10 días de encarcelamiento? Mm, sí. Do you understand yeah. that by taking this plea today you're giving up right to go to trial? Entiendo usted que al presentar esta declaración está usted renunciando su derecho de poder poner juicio. No lo entendí bien. ¿Me puede repetir? I didn't understand you very well. Could you repeat that? Do you understand that by taking care of this case today that you're giving up your right to go to trial? Entiendo usted que al resolver el caso hoy está renunciando su derecho de proceder con el juicio. Usted renuncia y el derecho de enfrentarse con los testigos en su contra, de citar sus propios testigos a favor suyo y de obligar que la fiscalía pruebe la acusación en su contra. Do you want to give up all of those rights in order to take care of this case today? ¿Desea usted renunciar todos esos derechos para resolver la causa hoy? No, una pregunta. Si yo renuncio a eso, ¿qué pasa conmigo? I have one question. If I uh, waive all of that, what will happen with me? If you don't want to take care of your case today, I'll keep the bond the same. And I'll see you back to court on May 10th. Eh, si usted no desea resolver el caso hoy, le mantengo las fianzas de las mismas cantidades y luego lo veré a usted de nuevo en el tribunal del 10 de mayo. No, no, entonces le renuncio a los derechos y resolver hoy. Okay, then I give up the rights and resolve today. In regard to this providing false information to law enforcement and no valid driver's license, how do you plead complete no contest? In cuanto a esta acusación de proporcionar la información falsa del orden público y de no tener licencia cuando se invalida, ¿cómo se declara usted? ¿Se puede declarar usted no no falso? Ah, culpable. Guilty. If you plead no contest, it means that you can't contest the evidence against you and you're taking a plea in your own best interest. Would you like to plead no contest? Eh, si usted presenta una declaración de no, no pongo, significa que usted no está eh, presentando un reto a las pruebas que hay en su contra, pero que lo está haciendo porque piensa usted que es lo que más le conviene. ¿Usted desea declarar este no, no pongo? Sí. I accept your plea of no contest. I find it's freely and voluntarily entered. I accept your declaration of no me opongo a yo que lo ha presentado libre voluntariamente. Adjudicate you guilty. Me condeno culpable. Sentence you to 10 days in jail. Me condeno 10 días de encarcelamiento. Give you credit for the two days that you have in. Me doy credito por los dos días que ha cumplido. You will have fines and court costs. Uh, cost of at least $640. Eh, un, un de de $640. And with regards to your plea, do you have a Hillsborough County warrant here for failure to appear? Aquí tiene usted una orden de detención del condado y foro por no por falta de por incomparecencia. For resisting an officer without violence and a fray. Eh, por eh, resistir un agente del orden público sin violencia y por eh, reña. But they are okay with ROR in you. Pero ellos están de acuerdo con ponerlo bajo libertad de palabra de honor. And you just need to report to Hillsborough County and get a new court date, okay? Solo tiene que usted reportarse al condado de Hillsborough y conseguir una cita judicial nueva, ¿de acuerdo? Sí. Thank you, sir. Yes. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir.
Okay, no worries. Thank you, Your Honor. Have a good night. Bye.